Hello everyone, welcome back to the 500 MCQ series of Drug Inspector Examination. So coming to today's question, the first question is, which among the, which among the following, which among the following is an ideal starting material for the synthesis of propranolol? A choice menthol, B choice phenol, C choice naphthol, D choice cresol, and E choice cyrol. So first of all, we need to know the structure of uh, propranolol. So propranol has uh, has uh, the heteros this ring like this. It is attached to oxygen, followed by CH two, CHOH, CH two. Then comes an um, nitrogen group, followed by isopropyl group. So this is the structure of uh, propranolol propranolol okay now here to synthesize this compound you need this part you need this part also you need this part so this part comes from the for getting this part you need to take the starting material you need to take the starting material which is naphthalene this is the two benzene rings are called as naphthalene naphthalene contains containing an OH group at the first position or the alpha position. So this compound is called as alpha naphthol. So one of the starting material for the synthesis of propranolol is alpha naphthol. Now to get this part you need to take this reagent. The name of this reagent you just need to remember the name. No need to remember the structure. Just remember the name. The name of this compound is epichlorhydrate epichlorhydrate. Now to get this part, this third part, you need to have this compound that is NH2 attached to the isopropyl group. So this is called, this compound is called as isopropyl amine. Isopropyl amine. So these are the three reagents you need to uh, have for synthesizing the beta blocker propranolol, alpha naphthol, epichlorhydrin, and isopropyl amine. Okay. So now the question is, which of the following is the ideal starting material? So you have naphthol. So the correct answer is uh, naphthol, which is the C choice. Specifically, telling it is alpha naphthol, not beta naphthol. So please remember. The starting material for the synthesis of uh, propranol is alpha naphthol. So the correct answer is C choice. Now coming to the second question of the day, which of the following is not a beta lactam antibiotic? A choice carbapenem, B choice monobactam, C choice moxalactam, D choice ceftriaxone, and E choice none of the above. So first you need to know what is a beta lactam antibiotic. So beta lactam antibiotic contains the beta lactam ring. So this structure is called as beta lactam. So the drugs having this particular structure, that is the carbonyl group attached to a nitrogen, which is separated by two carbon atoms. This is called as beta lactam. Now the compounds or the drugs having this beta lactam, they are called as beta lactam antibiotics beta lactam antibiotics so which are the uh, antibiotics which is having this uh, structure you can remember pcm physics chemistry max and commerce pcmc p stands for penicillin penicillin's group of drug all penicillins belongs to beta lactam antibiotics c stands for cephalosporins cephalosporins. M stands for monobactam. Monobactam. C stands for carbapenem. So if you take uh, penicillin, cephalosporins, monobactam, carbapenem, you will con the, the, these drugs contain this particular structure which is called as beta lactam. Okay. Now coming to the choice, carbapenem is a beta lactam. The question is not a beta lactam. Okay, not a beta lactam. 
So carbapenem is a beta lactam antibiotic. Monobactam, as I told, it's a beta lactam antibiotic. Moxalactam, moxalactam is a cephalosporin. Okay, it is a third generation cephalosporin. So moxalactam is an example for third generation cephalosporin. Third gen generation cephalosporin, moxalactam. Moreover, this word contains lactam you can remember lactam lactam means beta lactam okay so moxalactam uh, it belongs to cephalosporin so they are all, they are also beta lactam antibiotic so this is also beta lactam antibiotic now coming to the fourth choice ceftriaxone ceftriaxone is also the ex also an example for third generation cephalosporin ceftriaxone is also an example for third generation cephalosporin that also contains beta lactam that means all this uh, all this uh, four drugs contain beta lactam now the question was which of the following is not a beta lactam so the correct answer would be e choice none of the above okay so hope you understood this discussion now coming to the next next question of the day the half life of radioactive iodine half life of radioactive iodine so radioactive iodine you know it is a thyroid uh, gland destroying drug uh, ra radioactive iodine denoted by i131 it emits uh, beta rays okay uh, and uh, the half life of uh, iodine 131 is 8 days 8 days so the correct answer for this question would be b choice 8 days so it's a uh, uh, it is a drug which is having a very long half life 8 days is a very long half life some of the drugs which is having higher half life you can remember one is the anti-malarial drug like chloroquine. Chloroquine have a very long half-life, 20 to 60 days. 20 to 60 days is the half-life of uh, half-life represented by T half, 20 to 60 days. Mefloquine is also an anti-malarial drug. Mefloquine also have a half-life of uh, 14 to 21 days, up to 3 weeks. Digitoxin. Digitoxin, which is given for heart failure, digitoxin, having a half life of seven to eight days. Then comes uh, leflunamide. Leflunamide. It is a drug given for uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. So it is having a half life of uh, fourteen days, two weeks approximately. Fourteen days. So these are some of the examples of some important drugs having a long half-life. Iodine 131, 8 days. Chloroquine is having up to even 22 2 months, 60 days. Mefloquine 20, 14 to 21 days. Digitoxin 7 to 8 days. Leflunamide 14 days. So the correct answer for this question is B, B 8 days for iodine 131. Now coming to the next question. One unit of penicillin is equal to a choice 0 0.6 gram b choice 1.6 gram c choice 0 0.6 mg milligram d choice 1.6 mg e choice 0 0.6 mcg mcg is microgram okay so before that we need to know uh, normally penicillins uh, the dose comes in million units they are sold as million unit million unit they comes in million unit abbreviated as mu mu means million unit okay so the penicillin especially penicillin g injection pen g penicillin g injection all this comes in million units actually now what is one million unit one million unit is equal to you need to remember one million unit is equal to 0 0.6 gram okay now what is million what is million means million means 1 into million means 10 raised to 6 okay unit so 1 into 10 raised to 6 unit is equal to 0 0.6 gram so the question here was 1 unit what is 1 unit so 1 unit is equal to 1 unit is equal to this 10 raised to 6 comes in the denominator so it will become 0 0.6 gram divided by 10 raised to 6 now you can rewrite this thing as 0 0.6 uh, 10 raised to 6 if you take it to the numerator it will become 10 raised to minus 6 gram now what is this 10 raised to minus 6 you know that 10 raised to minus 3 is equal to milli 10 raised to minus 6 is equal to micro 
and 10 raised to minus 9 is equal to nano. So, remember this thing 10 raised to minus 3 milli, minus 6 micro and minus 9 is nano. So, you can replace 10 raised to minus 6 with uh, micro. So, it will become 0 0.6 microgram. Microgram. Microgram you can uh, abbreviate as MCG. So, 1 unit means one unit means 0 0.6 mcg or you can write the short form like mu g mu g is nothing but microgram so 0 0.6 mcg one unit is equal to 0 0.6 microgram so the correct answer would be e choice 0 0.6 mcg that is microgram now coming to the last question of the day which of the following drug is available as transdermal patch transdermal patch so you know that uh, these are drugs uh, they are drugs which uh, they are loaded into a patch Th these drugs will be loaded into this patch and they will be attached onto the skin from the skin it will be diffused into the circulation so such uh, dr such uh, formulations they are called as transdermal patch you can remember this mnemonics uh, to remember the important drugs coming in transdermal patch okay so the important drugs which is which are available as transdermal patch transdermal patch you can remember this uh, mnemonic men cell men cell fantastic patch men cell fantastic patch patch p a t c h men cell fantastic patch where m stands for methylphenidate 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 e stands for estrogen n stands for nicotine and also stands for nitroglycerin nitroglycerin cell cell stands for the antidepressant drug seligilin fent fantastic fent stands for fentanyl it is an opioid drug opioid drug for pain relief it is given fentanyl group of drugs in the patch psp stands for progesterone p stands for progesterone T stands for another hormone testosterone testosterone C stands for clonidin clonidin H stands for hyosin hyosin is also called as scopolamine scopolamine so you can remember this mnemonic men cell fantastic patch so these are some of the important drugs which are available as uh, transdermal patch okay methylphenidate and methylphenidate is mainly given for uh, adhd attention deficit hyperactive disorder it is given for the treatment of adhd estrogen estrogen and progesterone they are mainly given as an oral contraceptive patch oral contraceptive patch they are used as they can be used as oral contraceptive patch. Now nitroglycerin, uh, you all know nitroglycerin is given for angina. That patch can be used in the treatment of angina. Seligilin is an antidepressant drug. Already I told it's an antidepressant drug. Antidepressant drug. So that can also be given in the patch form, transdermal patch form. Fentanyl is an opioid. So that patch can be used to relieve uh, the is it will be a relief for the pain relief okay really it will relieve pain relief pain relief progesterone testosterone testosterone they are homo hormones clonidin is an antihypertensive drug hyosin scopolamine they are anti nausea drug anti nausea or anti emetic okay. so remember the mnemonic men cell fantastic patch so these are the drugs uh, which are which is also available as a transdermal patch okay so coming to the uh, coming back to our question which of the following is the drug uh, is which is available as transdermal patch hyosin or scopolamine 
is a tra available as transdermal patch. Fentanyl is available as transdermal patch. Estrogen, nicotine nitroglycerin is available as trans transdermal patch. Transdermal patch. So the correct answer for this question will be E choice, all of the above. So hope you understood this discussion session. Keep on watching. Thank you.